Good afternoon, traders. It is Monday, May 9th, 2016. The U.S. stock market is closed. Hey, on Friday, I said, I, you know, I kind of thought maybe today would be a really good day. I called the Dow up. Well, the Dow did not go up. It ended up closing um, negative 35. But we still started, you know, well into the first half of the day. I thought we were really going to have a good day. And then things kind of got soft toward the end of the day. So I ended up being a little bit disappointing. Um, it started out kind of bad. We had only two positions uh, and we ended up closing negative $4,000. That $4,000 negative was caused by a big gap down in Sabanyi Gold. We got clobbered in Sabanyi Gold. So that, uh, as a result, we got negative ne ne negative $4,000 on our two closed out positions from Friday. But then we started picking up a lot of stuff. And it looked really, really good. Um, we had... I took a, I, I put a screenshot on the website or we'll put it up uh, showing this we our equity started to climb first to five thousand then to eight thousand and then um, at in four about four hours and ten minutes into the day we had positive nineteen thousand dollars in open trade equity and then what you know what happened is not supposed to happen. It's not like I... It is not what happens on a really good day. That 19000 started to um, melt down. And what was even more disconcerting to me, we got, <clears throat> after that four-hour peak, we got into about six new positions, and none of those new positions were positive. They weren't badly negative, but they weren't. They were just little negatives. But nothing was positive. And meanwhile, the stuff we got in originally uh, started to melt away too. So, bottom line is, I had to sit here and watch nineteen thousand dollars positive melt down to seven thousand dollars positive that's what we're holding going into tomorrow now seven thousand dollars positive is not so bad but when it came from nineteen thousand after four hours that isn't good that's kind of backing into the finish line i do not like that and uh we have 17 new positions Today we got into a lot of stuff. I'm surprised that we got into so much new stuff with the Dow negative all day. But we got into 17 positions. Eight of them are positive. Nine are negative. It's not a terrible ratio, but it's not a real good one either. So I'm pretty nervous about tomorrow. I have, you know, $7,000 is okay, but with 17 positions, that could get pretty messy if things don't go well tomorrow. I guess I hope this isn't just wishful thinking. I'm going to call the Dow up for tomorrow. Um, you know, it bounced off of this resistance area, came up. It kind of went sideways to negative today. I think maybe it has some strength here. I sure hope it goes up because we have 17 positions and we need to make some money. Yeah, I'll show you uh, one of, uh, I'll show you three of the stocks here. But this is Labu, which is um, uh, the bioscience bull. So this is going to go up when our bioscience stocks go higher and we trade a lot of bioscience. And so... What happened here, we got into Labu here, uh, looks like kind of toward the end of the second hour. And this is, this is that peak, four hours and say 15 minutes into the day, right here, right here. That's when we were at $19,000 or so, and then it comes back 
and we're holding seven on the close. As far as Labu goes here, we were at about $3,000 up here, and we come back here on the close, we're at about $1,000. So this kind of reflects the sell-off. It's not a horrible sell-off, and it didn't end up putting us negative, but yet it's making me uncomfortable. It's not the way I like to end the, the trading day. I like to end on the highs, not... Uh, you know, fade back the, these last two, two and a half hours. We still had some good trades, no question about it. This first one is in Agios Pharmaceuticals, and we bought this right into the second hour, and it just kept going, going, going. Uh, closes up there pretty close to its high. We have $3,000 in Agios Pharmaceuticals. And finally, the big one of the day, this was really, really nice. This is Ova Science, another bio stock. Uh, we bought this again right at the beginning of the second hour. It really steamed almost all day long. This is the four uh, hour peak here. It did pull back, but then it gained some on the close. So actually, that close is pretty close to the high and we are holding five thousand dollars positive in Ova Science. So let's kind of try and look at these good stocks and Agile Pharmaceuticals and Ova Science and just hope everything else kind of goes through tomorrow. We get some follow through on it tomorrow and we'll have a good day. But oh God, I don't want to see, you know, a crap I don't want to see these sellers in uh, these stocks um, after the open tomorrow. So I'm hoping for a good one. This is Trader Bob signing off. See you tomorrow on Tuesday.